For a session presented by Wimstay, please welcome CEO of Wimstay, David Weiss, in discussion with SkiftX research editor, Dan Marsak. All right, David, uh, welcome. Great to have you here. Great to be and, here. Um, so for those of you in the audience who might not be familiar with Wimstay, it is a platform that focuses <laughs> exclusively, well, not exclusively, but mostly on last minute booking foods yeah. or short term rentals. And David, I think that gives you a really unique perspective on the market in terms of what we're talking about here today. So I want to hear from you. What are you seeing <laughs> in terms of consumer behavior and how that's been changing, not just over the past couple of years, but really even in the last few months? Well, we don't see guests racing to book stays through the end of the summer into, into the fall uh, like we did the past you know, two years. Booking windows have tightened. We see more available nights on the calendar than we have, and we see some ADR pressure <clears throat> in certain markets and for certain destinations and certain property types. We as a company are uniquely positioned in that regard because 80% of our users book inside of 30 days in any market environment. So 60% of Wimstay users book two weeks prior to check-in, 20% book in weeks three and four prior to the stay, and 20% book beyond the 30-day window, often for longer stays. Last year, 85% of our users booked in the last minute uh, uh, booking window. And what we're seeing, not surprisingly, also is a broader, diverse group of users booking in those shorter windows. So Travelers aged 21 through 65 and older are finding their way to Wimstay in growing numbers. That's really interesting. So given that we have seen, and we've seen this in some of the larger kind of macro stats uh, throughout the day, these booking windows kind of changing, what does that mean for property managers and what can they do about it, frankly? <laughs> well, it's harder for property managers and owners to forecast the business in part because windows have tightened. Um, that trend won't last forever, but it is reflective of where uh, the market is right, right now. And so having a channel partner that's focused exclusively on that window doesn't sound like a horrible idea, right? Um, and so uh, and another thing in terms of the way we work with property managers is we only list units for professional property managers. And so when a guest books on Wednesday, uh, they'll likely to get a more curated, localized, relationship-based, consistent experience. And whether a guest books a week ahead or a year ahead, most of our PMC partners uh, want to control more of the guest experience themselves, capture uh, more of the economics, and of course, book more nights that may have otherwise gone unrented, and they could do all three with Wimstay. Right, and uh, that speaks to that, that larger trend that we've been talking about all day, the profession, professionalization and that consistent experience that guests are really wanting. Um, you talked about it a little bit, but what are some of those benefits of maybe, you know, adding another channel partner to what property managers may be doing on their own, maybe doing with other uh, larger distribution sites? What are, what are some of the benefits of doing that specifically <laughs> for this last minute niche, given the environment? The benefits are really sh relatively straightforward, which is net new traffic and net new bookings. What we ask ourselves every day is, how do we help make that happen? Uh, and so a little over a year ago, we set out to drastically enhance customer experience related to discounted stays on last minute trips. Okay. Uh, and from there, how we market and message that uh, value prop to guests in very unique ways. And so we focused our development efforts on search experience, pricing, guest engagement, customer service, operational efficiency, all centered around that 30-day window. And since we needed units to book those stays, we've doubled the number of properties we have listed on our platform over that same time period. And so as a result of those initiatives, year-to-date bookings are up 200% versus last year. Growth is accelerating. Uh, we had our highest booking day in the history of the company yesterday. Oh, wow. <laughs> now, that being said, uh, it's, uh, we understand that it's an order of magnitude easier to put up impressive growth numbers off a base of 10,000 bookings versus 10 million bookings. But nonetheless, um, one of the really cool things about our growth is 100% of our bookings this year have been generated from organic and direct traffic. Oh. Uh, at higher conversion rates, and that's including new registered users who book 
and repeat bookers. And so now we have some cool data to show that what we're doing really is incremental. Great. No, that's really interesting. And you know, we're talking about changes in the market, you know, what property managers can do about this, some of the strategies. But ultimately, I think a lot of the property managers in the room, elsewhere, anywhere else, are going to be thinking, well, I have, even within my own portfolio, a number of different kinds of properties in all these different markets. How can I get my customer for each of those individual ones? You know, so it's essentially, the question is, how are you guys targeting? And how can you make sure that you're getting the right person at the right time, especially when you've got such a narrow window of opportunity? Yeah. Well, guests, uh, Whim Whimstay users are searching for the best last minute deals on any type of vacation rental in North America. Uh, we list all types of uh, or properties in all shapes, sizes, uh, price points, beaches, mountains, cabins, other destination types, $100 ADR to $1,000 ADR. We're going to be launching our business into Europe next year. We're in the hundreds, thousands uh, count on property count versus the millions property count. Our guest mix across Gen Z, Millennials, Gen X, and, and, uh, and Boomers is roughly even. You've got a little bit of a barbell going on with higher percentages for Gen Z and Boomers with those first two groups, Gen Z and Millennials, growing at faster rates. Mm -hmm. um, but that's where we are with, uh, with, the, uh, with the mix. That's really interesting. Um, so when we're talking about where you guys sit in the market, you know, we've shown that big pie picture you know, several times today from the, the Skift uh, SDR 250. Where does Wimstay compete necessarily with the other distribution channels? You know, what, what would you say, you know, from your perspective, what your position is in the market? And are you competing with these other channels that your property managers might be also using? Well, you know, the bigger channels, all I know at this point is that we're generating a lot more bookings than we did last year. We're improving the uh, experience. And we're certainly not competing or pretending to compete with the larger platforms out there. That would be insane. And so if you think about those larger platforms at the top of the food chain, if they represent the Army and the Navy and the Air Force and the Marines and all the firepower that they bring to bear, we view ourselves as a few Navy SEAL and Army Ranger teams who have developed a very specific set of skills to conduct specific types of missions, which include booking last minute stays. And if a guest finds their way to Wimstay and books, uh, beyond that 30-day window, then you know that's cool, too. Right. Um, so I want to switch gears just slightly, uh, because Wimstay had recently raised some funding, which congratulations. Thank you. Uh, we've talked a lot about the market, how it, there are a lot of opportunities in short-term rentals, a lot of challenges as well. What advice would you give other companies that might be in a similar position to you? Again, not necessarily in your, uh, you know, corner of the, the slice of that pie, but maybe elsewhere where they're really struggling to get in or if they're seeing the fundamentals maybe changing. You know, what, what's your experience there and what would you say about your perspective on the market and being a company that's really trying to grow? In April, we announced a, a small round uh, that was enough to fund our plan uh, and, and the way forward, at least for the time being. But the, that process, the degree of difficulty was relatively high. You know, in part because we're an earlier stage company, in part because half of our business is consumer facing, we have limited resources and private and public market <clears throat> performance, outlook, and valuations didn't help a ton. Uh, but I'd say for us, a, a successful financing, uh, in our case, an earlier stage financing, was dependent upon us answering a few fairly obvious questions, but difficult questions to answer sufficiently, which are, what's your competitive advantage? Is it sustainable? Is it scalable? And can you grow and make money at the same time? Uh, and at least for the, the time being, we've convinced enough uh, folks that we could. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Um, got a couple more questions, but I did want to call up the, the QR code. Okay. If people want to learn more about Wimstay, um, please, guys, scan this. The company has been so generous to offer you an opportunity to try it out for yourselves. So as we're, we're finishing our conversation, please, please scan that. You'll also be entered to, uh, for a chance to win a free stay as well. Seize the stay. <laughs> so yeah, David, uh, a couple more questions. Mm -hmm. I think thinking about this, putting all of it together, what 
tips or advice might you have for property managers right now who are maybe just trying to feel their way out to get through the rest of the year and then think about forward? What is my booking and distribu distribution strategy going to be? This is just this is just observations of of, of some of the uh, the customers that we have on our, our platform. You know, more than a few. PMs in this market have had some success being a bit more flexible on min loss requirements where appropriate, uh, or cancellation policies for bookings made farther out, providing incentives to guests for longer stays or drive to destinations or whatever criteria fit your particular business uh, or objectives. Um, distinguishing how we market the destination and how we showcase local events, activities in real time. Uh, has been helpful uh, for some, and of course, you know, providing the perfect properties uh, to that particular guest is what you know we're all trying to do. Right. Well, I think that's a really good point. It's, you know, if, if people are booking more at the last minute, you know, giving them more information about what's going on in that market, what really is unique about it, and why they may want to you know, book theirs is, is a really neat opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, any other closing thoughts? You know, b big picture, you know, what's next for Wimstay, what, you know, what, what property managers can, can kind of expect in this corner of the market? Well, you, we all operate in an industry that's seasonal and cyclical. Uh, to some degree, whether you're an early stage company like us or the largest platform in the world. Uh, and so we need to plan, execute, and manage personnel accordingly. Planning for and executing last minute bookings is an important uh, component of revenue generation in any type of year. Uh, last minute bookings have become a bit more critical in the market we are now, given those windows have tightened. And so, you know, why not use all the tools in the shed and all the arrows in the quiver to work with a company like uh, Wimstay to capitalize on that last minute opportunity. Great, very well put. Well, David, sure. thank you so much for your time today. Sure. Everyone, have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Mm -hmm.